Hey guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again. And Make That Sea Change is my channel aimed at my channel and site aimed at assisting those you looking to get set up with your own online business. And today we're going to add to that by talking about how to make money selling art online. Now, art is it's a it's a large niche. It's a it's got a wide variety of options there, from obviously high end art pieces that have been. Uh, painted or created by well-known artists and then you've got the the hobby art niche and you've then got the all the bits and pieces that you need to do art as in paint brushes clay you know whatever it is you consider to be art you need all the little tools and bits and pieces and consumables which is another good area that you can sell because people always need that working within the art niche so if art is something that you're passionate about or have a good interest in then today I'm going to take you through, as I say, how to get set up with an online business around the world of art. And as part of that, we'll talk about what we need to consider before we get started. So what's our niche, what problems we're solving, etc. Then how can we sell the art online? And then what do we need at the end of the day to, to get that up and running so we can build that? So the first thing I would like to look at when it comes to art is talking about just making sure there's a business for it and a market for it. I mean, there's no point in going through all this and listening to all this video and setting it all up and realizing that no one buys anything to do with art online. So I'm going to take you in the post. I'm not going to read through the whole post for you word for word as in this video. You can obviously, if you're watching this within a post, you can click down and have a read of it all yourself. I'll just run you through the basics and the highlights and then you can have a look at that from there. But obviously the first thing we want to do is just make sure that there's a uh, market for it. So you can see there, 480,000 average searches per month for the term art. And we can, and I've sort of got hijacked here a little bit because when I searched art, then martial arts came, comes up, which obviously isn't the area that we're talking about at the moment. We can see clip art there. Let's scroll down and say change it to paintings. 35,000 odd landscape paintings, 3,000 canvas paintings, 6,000. Painting for children, paintings for kitchen, um, modern art paintings, custom paintings, ideas, new paintings, so on and so forth. So those numbers there are fantastic. Even 14,000 for the term painting ideas. There's a whole niche for you. You're a painter, what can you paint? So you can definitely look at that from there and see what, what our market is for. Then we go to, I've taken this into just... Um, you know, another side of art, so statues. Statues, 6,000 odd stones, saint, decor statues, wooden statues. So we're even getting into the home art type niche here. Uh, plastic angel statues is another, that one went on for a long time. So saint and angel, so uh, religious type statues is another big market. And as I say, you can get in the home decor, gardening areas too, if you're looking at statues. Now, obviously you can search for oil paintings, modern paintings, bathroom art, floral paintings, any type of art that you're looking for. And again, with, you can search for statues, um, dioramas, display, whatever the type of art that you're looking for, you can do your searches in here and find that. And we'll talk about that in our, in our niche in a second. Now let's have a look at our trends over time, just to make sure this has maintained interest. You can see their paintings, good interest over time, and statues. Now these marks here, you can't see it on here because it's just a graphic, but these here are around Christmas, which takes us back to here, our saint, angel statues, uh, Christmas statues, uh, religious options and the like. So you see some big spikes there and a little bit in painting, but the rest of the time, it's a fair, very good market across that's across five years. So there's plenty of interest there. So based on these numbers here and that interest, I'm fairly confident that we've got ourselves a pretty good market here. So now that we know that, let's start to consider is what we're going to sell. Now you might already, might already know, and I've already discussed you know, some of the variations in just painting and statues. What else is there? You know, there's drawings, there's, I mean, there's you know, anything in arts and craft essentially becomes art once you're finished with it. You've got um, all sorts of stuff. I'm, my mind has gone total blank, but if you're looking at, you know, diagrams, if you go to the, you know, look at a national, uh, any art um, 
site and you'll see all the different things you've got in there. So what is it you're trying to sell? So the first thing to consider is our niche. And as I've so poorly explained just then, there are so many different areas that you've got. So you just need to consider what it is you're going to start looking at. Is it paintings? Is it diagrams? Is it statues? So on and so forth. Whatever it is that you're trying to um, sell, that is considered your niche. Are you going to go in just supplying part the the, the paint brushes, the paints, the clay, the um, you know pottery, and all those sort of things are considered art as well. So is it just the clay? Is it the ceramics? Is it anything that you're looking at to sell is part of your niche? Now, if you don't already know that, great. If not, take your knowledge and your area of interest and convert it into what problems you can solve for people. Because think about all the searches you do online. Most people who do a, a search online do it for the sake of solving problems. What problems can you solve? Well, that then takes us down to what it is that we're trying to problem that we're trying to sell. So, say for example. I've always been interested in art. I've always been interested in painting. I live near the beach. I want to be able to start drawing, painting the beach. Where do I start? That's my problem. And that's as simple as the problems are. Okay, well, if I'm going to start that, I'm going to need some a canvas. I'm going to need some paint brushes. I'm going to need some paint. I'm going to need all the other bits and pieces that I may need to be able to paint. I may need a painting course. We'll talk about that later on. There's another area you've got teaching me how to paint um, beaches. Just because I think I might be good at painting and might want to paint some beaches doesn't mean I'm any good at it. So that's another thing to consider. What, what, um, what can I paint? Then we go from there into all the stuff I might need for, for making pottery or for making diagrams or statues. If I'm making ceramic statues, what do I need to do all that? How do I do that? How do I paint them? How do I set them? How do I fire them? What kilns do I need? How do I find a kiln to put my pottery in? Um, all those sort of things. How do I maintain my painting once I've done it? They're all the problems I've got, the problems you can solve. And the third option you've got then is who is your target audience? So if, you're, if I wanted to learn how to paint, you're targeting me. If I need to buy a painting gear for my child who needs it for art classes at school you're still targeting me you're not targeting the child so think about who you're targeting and then from there back that into the problems you're solving into the niche that you've got doesn't mean you can't expand your niche as you go um, i've got a, a fishing site that i work on as well it is all about um helping people get started with fishing i'm talking about surf fishing and kayak fishing they're my two little niches i'm looking at so i talk about what people need for that i'm now going to branch into bass fishing so the point i'm making with you is if you're starting with painting start in that area first solve all your problems in the area get yourself set up and then go into pottery later on so you can continuously add things as you go so that's your that's your getting started point get some yourself some paper or write get yourself a laptop and think about what is it that you are going to going to sell and how can you work that out? What What is your niche? What problems are you solving? Who's your target audience? Okay, from there, how can we sell it? Now, the first option we've got here is what we call affiliate marketing. Now, think of this from the paint point, from the painting point of view. Think about this from my example of, I want to start painting. I don't know what I need. So you're going to do up a post or you're going to put something up online that's going to solve my problems. Okay, Paul, if you want to go and do some painting of the beach, you're going to need a canvas. I recommend this type of canvas because it's easy to work with. The brush will go over it easily and the paint will stay in it even in windy conditions. Excellent. I would recommend this type of brush because it's, it's, it's going to be nice and straight. You can, it's good for beginners, but for this reason, that reason, and so on. And I recommend this sort of paint. So you've solved my main problems there. What affiliate marketing does then is you have little links at the bottom of each of those sections that links me off to a, another website that sells these products where I can buy the products. Once I've bought those products, you then make a commission on that sale. So you don't own the products, you don't sell the products, you don't handle the shipping, the customer service, anything like that. All you do is make a commission based on that, that sale. So how do we look at that? So if we go down to, and this section here, as I mentioned, talks all about solving problems, all about your who you're looking at. So if we're talking about selling um, affiliate marketing, 
I would go into a search engine and I'd type affiliate art or affiliate painting or affiliate ceramics, whatever it is you're working with within the painting, within the art arena. And you'll hit, see here that you'll start to find art affiliate programs. So this one here is um, Help Artists a Super Profitable Side Hustle, uh, Best hip, Tips and Ideas, etc., etc. Art Finder. So if I was doing that for painting, I would get different options here. I would then look through these and I would then try and make sure that they they match the niche and the problems that I'm solving. Their products are good, all that sort of stuff. Once you've done that, you'll then apply to join their program. You can do this if you just want to sell paintings that have already been done. So you can go in, you you find the programs, you apply, you'll need to give them some information, normally your website name, tra let traffic, et cetera, et cetera. Outline how you're going to promote their products. Do a good job of that because if you do a half-baked job of that, people tend to think if you're going to do a half-baked job of that, you're going to do a half-baked job of selling their their products so they might reject you some of them will also reject you if you don't have a, a more a mature enough website with my fishing one again i got rejected early on some of them now coming back to me and saying okay we'd like you to join that's because my traffic levels are higher and the site is starting to you know to be more mature so you'll get that happen as well if that's the case try amazon associates um, there's a link in the post that you can get into there you can join there you can join for free they'll accept you straight away and you'll be able to start promoting products that way. So that's your first option, affiliate marketing. Solve your problems, write all your products. Once you've joined the affiliate programs, they'll give you the links. Those links go into your post and you can make commissions based on your sale. Second option then is drop shipping. Very similar to affiliate marketing. You still don't hold the inventory, you still don't manage the, the, the shipping, but it's up to you whether you manage the sale or not because the difference being is that if I'm selling paintbrushes via affiliate marketing, all I'm doing there is going off and leading to the vendor and the vendor will sell the paintbrushes for 20 bucks. If I'm drop shipping, I can approach the, a wholesaler directly and say, how much will you sell me paintbrushes for? And he might say five bucks and I go, cool. I'll then sell them for 20 bucks and I'll make the, the difference between what I have to pay him. So once I make the sale, I give him his five bucks plus the shipping costs. I then keep the rest as a profit. So this is the, the difference is that you get to play with your pricing a little bit. You can go from the extremes where you handle all the sales and the like, and then you just pay your, your wholesaler as appropriate. Or again, Amazon, uh, eBay will do it, Shopify will do it. They will manage your, I think Etsy might do it as well. They'll manage the whole process for you. So again, all you do is link people to it. You determine how much you wanna sell it for, the rest of it they manage and off you go. So drop shipping's your other option. Again, look through the post and again, do a search online, drop shipping, um, colon painting or art or whatever. Again, it's in the post and you can find that there. Now the third option is an interesting little one if you wanna sell products that are your own branded by your, uh, I'll start that again. Sell products that are your own branded options, but you still don't make them, you don't own them and well, you do own them, but you don't you don't make them really not doing this well, am I? White labeling. You you get your products from someone else, you buy products from a supplier, so go back to your paint brushes. So I might buy a hundred paint brushes for three dollars each. They're blank, which is where the term white labeling comes from. They come in, I stamp my brand on the paint brushes and sell them as my own. There you go, that's a better explanation. So I'm selling products as my own that I didn't make. And that's in the in the painting niche. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be able to do that for completed works of art. But you could sell your own canvases, your own paintbrushes, your own um, moulding trays, your own statue trays, anything that you wanted to, to create or anything that you think you can on sell, you can sell as your own. The disadvantage of this is obviously you have to buy your products in. So you do hold inventory. You do have to have an outlay to purchase it. But the other side of the fence is you can build your own brand and you can sell your um, products for as much or as little as you like. And if you build your own brand, that then opens up all other avenues, you know, for, through social media, through becoming, um, being able to sell your brands in shops and, and so on and so forth. So if you're an expert in it, you can sell your own paintbrushes as your own brand based on, on just that fact that it's yours. Okay. 
let's take that selling your own to the next level, whereas if you're handy, sell your own products. And art actually becomes that by default. I mean, go back to me painting beach pictures again. I paint the, I do all the painting. What do I do with the painting? I either keep it as my own thing, oh, that's pretty, or I sell it. If I sell it, I'm selling my own products. So by default, art is you're creating your own products that you sell, and that can be anything. It'll be pottery, paintings, pictures, drawings, photography even can fall under this, this niche. Um, anything like that that you create, you can sell your own, you can sell it through your website. So obviously you just set up a gallery page, have you have your sales products, your sales pages in behind it, you sell it, you ship it off. The other side of the fence is if you're handy, you can make products yourself. So why not buy the canvas in rolls and make your own uh, painting canvases that you can sell. If you're clever enough, you can make your own paintbrushes, you can make your own easels, you can make your own, to other whatever other tools you got, you can make your own tools for, woodworking is another section that probably falls into art. You can make your own tools for clay pottery, you know, the little tools that go around a pottery wheel that carve it out and things like that. All that sort of stuff, you can make your own product. So if you're clever at that, again, make your own. And finally, I mentioned before about if I need help, sell painting, teach people how to paint. Set up an online YouTube channel like this YouTube channel here. Set up your own YouTube channel and teach people how to paint, teach people how to do pottery. Normally what you do is you'd set up a public video that shows people the outline or the first things how to paint or you might take them through three or four steps so they get for free and then at the end they've got a painted picture. And then you sell them your next course, which is the intermediate techniques and advanced techniques. So they get the beginners for free, but then they pay you for the next levels. They come to a membership page, either on YouTube or on your, your own website, and you sell courses for painting. You can sell step-by-step -step painting books. You can sell anything like that, that you can set yourself up as an authority on, and then teach people how to do it, set up coaching, set up eBooks, set up anything like that, that is actually teaching people or assisting people with their painting needs. It could be painting techniques. It could You could teach them how to make their own paintbrushes. You could teach them how to make their own ease. Anything that you can make and sell, you can teach people how to do. And that's it, guys. That's how online you can sell art. Affiliate marketing, drop shipping, selling your own products through white labeling or selling your own products that you've made, whether it be the finalized art or all the tools, that, any tools that you make that people can do. Find a niche that, if you're a painter and you always think, geez, I, anything you've made yourself to help yourself, make more and sell, because if you need it, others need it. And then obviously from there, you've also got your online coaching that you can do as well. So any of that, you can, you can sell. Finally then, what do we need? So I've mentioned quite a few times about how you're going to set up your, so solve your problems, set up your online stores, your, your galleries and the like. So obviously you need to build a website. Now that is not a difficult process and certainly with the tools at your disposal these days, going to WordPress, Wix, any of those, click on the little uh, box below where it says build a website and a post. I will take you into a site where we can teach you for free how to build your own website. You can set your affiliate marketing or drop shipping or your e-commerce business up through there. I'll be there to help you out and you can get all that up and running. So if you need help, click on that box. So you need to build a website. Second option there is get some social media, especially in your art niche. Get onto YouTube, as I mentioned, and teach people how to do that. I mean, I'm talking to you on YouTube now. Get onto Instagram or Pinterest, which are highly visual. Put all your pictures up there. This is what I painted. This is what I'm painting today. These are the brushes I use. Link people off through there, anything like that. And finally, join some Facebook groups. What Facebook groups do is they, they will tell you what people They'll do two things for you, actually. They'll tell you what problems people are having at the moment, but they'll also get solutions for you. Now, I can take you back to my fishing. I've got a couple of fish. I'm in a couple of fishing Facebook groups, and someone might come in and say, guys, what lures are best for a certain species? There's my problem. That's the problem that people want to solve right now, and we talked about solving problems. And then other people come in and say, well, I use this lure, I use that lure, I use this lure. There's my post. Three best lures for catching this type of fish. Solving the problems then goes off your affiliate marketing, your drop shipping, or if you make your own lures or whatever, go from there. Same with painting. 
people go onto your Facebook group, hey guys, I'm, I wanna go and paint a portrait of my daughter, what's the best canvas to use? And people come back, oh, I would use this canvas, I'd use that canvas, I'd use that canvas. There's your problem, there's your solution. All you need to do is convert that into a post, then again, link off to the affiliate programs, link off to your drop shipping, link off to however you're selling those products. That's it guys, that is my outline on how to sell art online. So think about your niche, the problems you're solving and who your target audience is. Once you've got an idea about that, how you're going to sell it, whether it be affiliate marketing, drop shipping, selling your own products or coaching, whatever, you all set that up online and you do that by building yourself a website and setting yourself up some social media. Some people do all that without the website, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, as I mentioned, but generally get yourself a website and off you go. That's it guys, hope that was helpful for you. If you're watching this within YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel below, that way I can keep you up to date with everything to do with setting up your online business. If you're watching within the post, comment below if you need any help with finding ways to sell art online, getting your, your website set up, getting social media set up, anything to do with that. If you need help, let me know. If you sell art online, what works for you, what doesn't, let us know so we can others can see how it works. And any other feedback, comments, again, section below. Thanks guys, hope that was helpful. Have a great day and chat to you soon, bye.